What's up everyone? I'm going to show you how to install Chirp on Ubuntu 20.04 today. And we're going to get started by adding a repository. So this repository has um, the Chirp package in it, but there are some things we need to do before we can install that, like unmet dependencies. First we're going to add that repository. Don't worry, I'll put this script in the um, comments or in the description below. Then we're going to have to edit this file to have Xenial instead of Focal. So I'm going to use Nano to do that and notice the sudo. It doesn't matter what editor you use as long as it has uh, rights to edit this file. And you do not need to change the second line unless you're installing from source code. I'm just doing it just in case I ever do. Okay, so I saved that. Now you can run sudo apt update. All right, and then I'm going to make a directory in documents. So in slash user slash quince slash documents. Go there escape dot pulls back the last argument of the last command so I don't have to type that and then we are going to download this file from the internet um, I found this online somebody uploaded these packages so that we can download them oops I pasted that twice and we can install them manually with dpkg um, there are going to be some errors. First, we'll unzip that. I'll just hit tab since that's the only file in the directory. Okay, now we have all these dev files. We can leave the zip there for now. We're going to blow away all these after they're installed. Um, so let's just start installing one by one. So this is what I'm talking about where the errors pop up. So these will be resolved with fix broken after we're done with all of these. But we'll just do it once to save time. Here's the fix broken. All right, if you press enter, it'll select Y for you because that's capitalized. That's the default. So now we're installing Chirp. So we're not going to actually have access, and I'll show you, we're not going to have access to the serial port when we open Chirp because we need to add our current user to the dialog group. So I'm using USB, so the device is dev slash TTY uppercase USB zero. And I'm gonna show the long details for that. So this is owned by the dialog or the dialog group is on there, so I'm not actually completely sure how this works, but um, I think this means it's a serial or it's like a special type of file. It's it's used as a serial file. Read write, um, that's for root and it doesn't have execute. Read, write, that's for dial out. So if we add the user to the dial out group, which we'll do right now, um, they will be able to read and write from this serial device. 
Oops, wrong one. I forgot to do control C. Okay, and my username is Quince. Um, and then you actually have to log out and back in in order for that to take effect. Notice how even though I did that, I'll plug in my radio here to serial USB. I'll turn on my radio. Um, it says to do it and turn the volume all the way up for buffing and um, change it to a channel that's not broadcasting. Um, you can type it in, but it's much easier to select it, much safer. So oh, here's the permission denied problem. If I reboot it, this probably wouldn't happen. We're going to do a temporary fix because I don't want to log out and log back in. I just want to write some stuff to the radio real quick. So we're going to change these permissions to be read, write, read, write, read, write. So the world is going to have rewrite access, which will give it to our user as well um, without having to log out and log back in. So that's what the six is for. <clears throat> Oops. All right, so now it should work. Okay, we were able to, it's downloading all of the channels that are on the radio. And I'm actually going to upload new channels onto it. So I'm going to import a file that I downloaded earlier for my area. Um, and I'm going to write those to it with upload to radio. And after this is done, I'm going to switch back that um, permission on dev TTY USB zero for the permissions on it. I'm not going to run this until this is done. Okay, it's done. All right, now we can exit. Great, and then next time you reboot, it should be normal. And that's how you install Trip.